I still recall the tent meetings that I attended as a child in Northwest Arkansas. The impassioned evangelist would boldly pray for the sick and the whole crowd would spontaneously erupt. What I witnessed in those meetings made an indelible mark on my life. Even in those troubling moments when I struggled in my faith, I could not deny what I had witnessed under the dangling lights of the canvas tabernacle. Later, as I entered into ministry, I longed to return to those moments. I read accounts of revivals and Holy Spirit encounters. And when I came across an old paperback in a secondhand bookshop, I purchased it, re-envisioning those wondrous experiences. This interest became even more pronounced after my pastor opened an expansive healing home to minister to the sick. I knew what had transpired in the early 20th century through Pentecostalism and through the revivals of the 1950s. However, I was curious about what things looked like in previous eras. How did people minister to the sick in the 19th century? Thus began a long journey of exploration. I began to buy books and have extensive dialogues. Old, dusty volumes with foxed pages and broken spines began to take me back to childhood work. As my library continued to expand, I began to make notes and scribble things down. Paragraphs became pages, and along the way, things began to take a life of their own. It wasn't long before I realized that I had the beginnings of a book on my hands. It gives me tremendous pleasure to introduce the fruit of my labor, Regeneration, a complete history of healing in the Christian church. It has been developed over 16 years. In producing it, I've consulted thousands of dissertations, articles, and related publications. I've traveled to research institutions and have conversations with a number of scholars and historians. Regeneration is made up of three jam-packed volumes. Volume one explores the inexplicable experiences in the early church. The second volume carries this account further, elaborating on the salvation healing revival of the 1940s and 50s. It has stories about evangelical and mainline traditions. It has insights about the charismatic renewal and modern revival. The stories of these astounding men and women have brought me back to a sense of childhood wonder. I believe they will impact you as well. Together, I believe we're gonna to see some amazing things.